Hey, what's up guys? This is iTackle11, and this is what's on my jailbroken iPhone 2014. So starting out in the lock screen, we have Jelly Lock 7. Now this basically brings an Android style unlock method, and allows you to have some app shortcuts. Now I also have Jelly Lock Lock 7, which is a pretty good companion. And finally, I have Aqua Board, which is pretty cool, basically liquefies your uh, lock screen. You can also use this for your home screen, but I like it better in my lock screen. Now, in terms of my home screen, I don't really have too much going on. I have Spring Twice 3 for some of the animations and looks. I have Dog Shift and Fancy for some of the folders and the dock. And then I have Soft Remix as a theme, which is a really nice theme that I'd recommend. Now, in terms of the Control Center, I have a couple things here that I really like. The first thing is called CC Controls, and the second thing is called Fancy. And Fancy is actually what gives it its red color. So it looks really cool and I think I have a pretty good control center set up here. Now my notification center, I don't really have too much. I have Fancy again giving it its, its coloring so it's green because of Fancy. And I also have Always Clear which gives me the ability to clear a whole section instead of having to tab multiple times like the default notification center. So I've got a couple things there, both of which are pretty nice. Now my multitasking, I have a few things as well. The first thing I have, which is pretty cool, and you can definitely tell right when I open it up, is called Grid Switcher, and it basically gives it the grid view. Now the next thing I have gives you the ability to check the data that you've used for your apps, and this is called Slide for Usage, a cool tool that allows you to see how long you've been on each app, when, and the last time you've opened it, so it's pretty cool to see how long you've been on social media. Now, the final thing I have is called Switch Spring, which allows you to close all your open apps with one swipe of your home card, which is pretty cool. Now, some other things I have are Activator, which actually gives me the ability to kind of have Touch ID on my iPhone 5, and I've got a whole video on that, so you can check that out. I also have No Slow Animations to make sure everything is running smoothly, and I have some other things such as Fancy, again, giving me my color keyboard, and I've actually customized a lot of the coloring in my uh, scheme on my iPhone with Fancy, so I definitely recommend Fancy for all your color needs. I also have Slow Mo Mod, which I have a video on that again, which gives me slow motion on my iPhone 5, and then just a few other tweaks such as Byte SMS, which is a great messaging tweak. So that's what's on my jailbroken iPhone for 2014. Now I do have a few more that I didn't mention in this video, and if I find any more that I think are important, I'll make sure to tweet them out. Make sure to follow me at itech411 on Twitter. So thanks for watching, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I have tons of more videos on iOS 7 and specific tweaks, so I'll leave those linked in the description for you to check out. So only subscribe, favorite, share, and also leave your favorite tweaks, and I'll see you guys later.